and welcome to the second flight of today this is the uh, Solius 1.8 meter glider um, today I'm just going to take it out stretch its wings I haven't tuned uh, cruise or altitude on it and that's going to bite me in the backside in this flight but uh, I've cut that boring bit out um, but basically it, would, it wouldn't return home properly um, so I'll skip that and just flew it instead uh, this flight I'm going to see um, how many times or how high I can get. Now I've got a 2200 battery here, so the idea is I'm going to go up 700 milliamp hours because this current sensor reads a tiny little bit over, and then that would give me three trips because I wouldn't go from ground level for the next one, uh, for the second or third. So if I go to 700, see how high I can get, and then know that I could do that another two times before the battery. Uh, runs out. So this is attempt number one, um, and then I'm just going to times it by three. So up we go. Um, it's pretty rough going up uh, in manual mode. I'm um, getting knocked up all over quite a bit, which I was quite surprised at because it seemed absolutely calm and still uh, on the ground. But uh, as you can see, 400 and well, 500 milliamps used. 450 meters up and still climbing like a homesick angel that's 500 meters uh, 550 600 milliamp used so getting close to that that point where I'd say that would be run number one we're at past 600 oh getting close there 700 milliamps there so I'll cut the throttle and there you go 600 so 650 660 meters of climb for a third of the battery uh, which is pretty good going really um, so you could, you could go three times higher I suppose um, you could take it easier um, but I don't I just don't think it'll climb climb as well if you if you took it easy and took it slowly up uh, so right so I'm gonna have um, a little double about at this level I'm going to have a look around and try and see if we can hook up with a thermal. Uh, I've got it in a stabilised mode. The small live screen you can see is not the DVR. The DVR recorded half of the flight. Um, this is at the DVR of the Dominator V2s. And um, the breakup is what I'm seeing in the goggles. But the, uh, the, the lines and the lines seem to be because my ETOHF is near them. So it's kind of wrecking the uh, the picture a bit, but it's not the end of the world. It's still I can still read everything, and if I needed it for emergency, that's fine. And it's a good job really, because the DV ah, for no reason whatsoever just stopped its recording, and then that was it. Right. <clears throat> so we're cruising around six hundred meters ish, and it looks like I found a thermal. See the uh, the bar on the right hand side with four point five five point that that bar that's gone up that's indicating that we're going up and as you can see by our altitude ladder gone from six hundred to seven hundred meters um using what uh, thirty milliamps since since I climbed it initially so so far thirty milliamps and I've got hundred and thirty meters and I'm still going up for basically free. Uh, 870, 880. Uh, I'm skipping through bits here, by the way. Uh, you'll notice with the clock in the left-hand corner, um, I was playing with the thermal for ages because uh, I don't really thermal, so it was all new to me. Um, so now I've got to 900 meters high using no throttle whatsoever, just trying to circle in the thermal, but it wasn't working for me. I, like obviously, I haven't got the right knack of it yet. So what I was doing was flying into it, climbing. Coming, I was getting knocked all over when I came out, and then flying back into it again. Cut over to the landing, so it's not a great big long, um, twin star <laughs> narrated flight, and uh, I just like to put the landings in just to show you it survived. And uh, <laughs> it did survive. It nearly didn't survive when it went into fail safe because it fail safe to, to circle mode. With the camera pointing to the right, 
and the trim was all over the shop. It was it was awful, and uh, it kept on going into fail safe. I don't know why. I'm presuming that I've got um, a break on the uh, Easy UHF antenna, so I'll be swapping that out to find out. But I changed the fail safe to return to home during the flight, and then the next time it fail safed, it went straight back to circle mode again. Um, so mm, the jury's out on that one. So the rest of the flight, um, I just did it manually, and uh, as you can see by the clock in the top left, I'd been up for 23 minutes. Um, I've used 800 milliamp hours, so if I'd done a bit of a less less of a climb in the first place, I could uh, stay up for three times longer, which is 23 times three over an hour. So that's over an hour's worth of flying from a two two lipo. Bit of a plop down in the uh, <laughs> in the long crops. Uh, but for once, the, for once the wings stayed on the damn thing. You land on the grass on the wheels, and you come in and grease it, and the uh, the wings fall off. But you land in massive, great long crops that stop you like hitting a brick wall, and uh, the wings stay on absolutely fine for some reason. So there you go. Um, didn't land too far away from the car, and from where I was sat, there you go. Not a bad walk of shame. <laughs> with a busy road there, I didn't really want to get any closer to where I was, just in case. But uh, there you go, 23 minutes of flight for 800 milliamps, and I could have used a lot less really. If I found that thermal earlier, I could have uh, just shot up. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you next time.